Recently, I was at a art and craft show where I interviewed this author. He's a bit unusual, and I think you may enjoy his alternative lifestyle and his studies of herbal medicine in the three books he's published. My name is uh, Kenneth Dalton Parnell, but everyone knows me as Luna Parnell. Okay. And why do you have that nickname? So I did uh, professional drag for five years and it just kind of uh, stuck because my, prof my stage name was Raz Luna, which loosely translates to Blood Moon. <laughs> do you still do drag shows? Uh, not anymore. Uh, I will on special occasions, but uh, it's mostly just um, for, you know, like once or twice a year maybe. Okay. So I asked you if you're a he or a she. Tell me what you answered. Uh, I always tell people you can call me whatever you want except late for dinner. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're out here as a vendor. I'm going to do a little quick okay. side to see what the vendor room looks like. What do you vend and why? So I am a certified herbalist and going to school to be a doctor of natural medicine. Right now I'm vending my book. All right, tell mm. us about this one. So this one is um, all local herbs to the uh, southern coastal area. They are, which every herb in here is found uh, worldwide, but they're all local here because there was a gap in the market where everything was either northern or Western, we had nothing that we could, uh, a book that we could grab that was anywhere around here. So. That's great. And then tell me about another book. Then, now, all your books are available on Kindle, yeah? Yes. And then this one is an everyday uh, guide to essential oils. I had done a whole bunch of research going through to get the foraging, and I'm also working on one now that is uh, just different herbal knowledge. And so I had everything I needed for the essential oils, and it's just like, well, I already have it, why not put it together? And that one actually goes down into the depths of which chemical compounds within the essential oils give it the effects that it has. So you went to a school to, and graduated with a degree about oils, right? Uh, so I went to a school. I've been to uh, two different herbal schools at the, uh, so far, and I'm in another one for the, uh, natural medicine. Right now I'm on the Holistic Health Practitioner course, and then I'll move into a uh, AMP, which is Alternative, me me Alternative Medicine Practitioner, and then the final step will be the uh, Doctor of Natural Medicine. Okay. So, uh, and, it, and that one, all three of those encompass all forms of natural healing. How many years would that take? So, it's anywhere between, it's, the school I'm going to is self-paced. So they have students that finish in two and a half years, all the way up to 15 years. So like I made all of the necklaces, oops, sorry. I um, made, you made all of those. these necklaces too? Yes. And then I've made a couple of these rings. That is a, actually a lab created ruby. All right. A, a real ruby? Mm hmm Neat. I'm just going to do a little scan here. Okay. And you wear these all the time mostly, huh? Yes. This is the most interesting one, the one in the middle finger. The dragon? Yeah, is that a dragon? Oh, I see it now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is a poetry book. Because, and this was my creative outlet because as much as I love nonfiction, it can get a little boring. <laughs> so I, did, I, I had to have a creative outlet for it. That's nice. And the way I wrote these is from the first poem to the last, it tells a story that you pick up pieces of each through each poem. Let's go and open it up and uh, read us a poem. Read us like three stanzas of poem. Okay. Okay, this one is the very first one called Looking Through. In the depths of the abyss where darkness thrives, a world of mysteries where the lost souls dive, I shall weave a tale, a poem to unfold, of staring into the abyss, both daunting and bold. In the realm of shadows where secrets reside, a tapestry of whispers where darkness presides, a long figure stands, eyes fixed on the void, Peering into the abyss where fears are deployed. Nice. <laughs> That's great. So, 
This, this part is actually my main business. They are herbal drinks. So I have, at the moment, I have a, a lavender hibiscus, a mint, a lavender butterfly PT, and a, a lavender rose are my main flavors at the moment. They're all lavenders. Uh, except for this one. This one's a mint. Uh, and what do you, and these are like drinks, look like IV bags. Yes. Mm. So they have all the same medicinal values as a glass of uh, herbal tea. Mm. But me, even as an herbalist, I've always hated the taste of herbal tea. And I wanted to give it um, the, a flavor I would enjoy that I wanted to drink every day versus make myself drink every day. I have 80 other author interviews on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe.